part two of learning about one-step equations and the subtraction property of equality, we would like to look at equations that have decimals and fractions involved in them. And in this first equation, we see that we have x minus 5 and 7 tenths is equal to 10 and 9 tenths. So we look at our variable here, x, and we see what's attached to it. And we see that the 5 and 7 tenths is attached to it. How is it attached? It's attached by subtraction. So the inverse of subtraction is addition. So we are going to add 5 and 7 tenths to both sides of the equation. When we're dealing with decimals, we're going to try to make sure to keep our decimals in line with each other. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this a little bit and rewrite it for you. And so we have 5, which is in the 1's place, and 7, which is in the 10's place. And so our decimals are in line with each other. Now we look at a negative 5 and 7 tenths plus 5 and 7 tenths, and that is the inverses of each other, and so that is going to equal 0. So we're going to bring down our variable x, and it'd be x plus 0, but that 0 would drop off. Keep our equal signs as well as our decimals in line with each other, and then we are going to add, we're going to add 5 and 7 tenths to 10 and 9 tenths. So 9 plus 7 is 16. We're going to carry our 1, and we're going to bring our decimal down right in the middle or right in line with each other. 5 plus 0 is 5, plus 1 is 16, or 6, and 16.6 is our answer. So when we go ahead and double check our work, we are going to wherever we see our variable, we are going to write 16 and 6 tenths. And it's going to subtract 5 and 7 tenths. And that should equal 10 and 9 tenths. So off to the side, I can go 16 and 6 tenths minus 5 and 7 tenths. Going to go ahead and borrow. Or let's see, we are going to bring that to a 5, add a, ten, a 1 whole point. So that's a tenths, 10 tenths. So 16 minus 7 is 9. 5 minus 5 is 0. And 1 minus 0 is 10.9. So we know that 10.9 here is equal to both sides. Therefore, our answer is correct. Now moving on to the second problem or the second equation, this equation has fractions in it. So we look at the equation and we see 1 7th plus the variable n equals 5 sevenths. So this 1 7th, it doesn't have anything in front of it, but we do know if it doesn't have anything, a sign in front of it, it is positive. So that helps us out. What's attached to the variable n is a positive 1 7th. So the inverse of a positive 1 7th is a negative 1 7th. And we are going to subtract. 1 7 or add 1 negative 1 7 to both sides. Now we see that these are inverses of each other as always at equals 0, leaving a positive n by, its, by itself. Here we have our equal signs in line with each other. And then we could also do this problem horizontally. So I could say 5 7 minus 1 7 and I have like denominators, so I can keep the denominator the same. And 5 minus 1 is 4. So the variable n is equal to 4 sevenths. Let's go ahead and plug that into the equation. So I have, remember, I have the 4 sevenths for the variable n. And I'm going to add 1 seventh. And the 1 seventh equals 5 sevenths. Therefore, 1 plus 4 is 5. 7 the, are all the same, so we have like denominators. Therefore, the answer checks.